Okay, Ryan Steinelson here with Accelerate Marketing, and I have Crystal Horton with me. We, uh, she's with Accelerate Marketing also, and what we're doing is we're talking about some really cool stuff. A lot of businesses every year, 4 million businesses, actually get suspended from Google My Business. What does that mean? That means thousands and thousands of dollars of lost revenue for businesses because they are no longer being found on Google My Business. They're deleted. Why is that happening? Well, we're going to go through 10 different, a checklist of 10 different things that you can look at, that you can identify in your business to determine if you are at risk or not. Um, and why do you want to listen to us? Well, um, I've you know been in business for over 10 years, uh, running a local SEO agency. I've been uh, doing Google My Business Maps work for since Google My Business was Google My Business. And uh, Crystal is one of the top 10 uh, female local SEO experts in the world um, as determined by her peers, which is really, really cool. And she's been, she's actually just wrote a blog post. It's going to be featured on Bright Local, um, which is really, which is a local SEO um, site for that, that everybody uses. It, basically, they do all of the, lo most of the local SEO experts use one of their tools to uh, either track what they're doing with local SEO or uh, something with local SEO and they're, they're a really, really reputable company. So really cool to um, be talking about this. Crystal, go ahead and introduce yourself if you want and say hi. Yep. Hello. I'm pretty excited to be talking about how to unsuspend your Google My Business listing or how to protect yourself from getting uh, suspended. Yeah. And what, I mean, this is really, it's really simple. We're going to do this as quickly as possible. We're just going to cut right to the chase here. I've identified right now, like, you know, the beauty of this is you can, is you can keep yourself from getting, getting suspended with all those negative consequences while, you know, which, which also get, has the added benefit of you not trying to have to have to get to get a hold of somebody at Google, which you've ever, if you ever tried to do, it's next to impossible. We've been trying to do it. We tried to do it for many years before we went down some different paths. And it's only because we do this all day, every day um, that we figured this out. And because Crystal's you know, in the Google My Business Forum and she's, you know, part of the, the local you group. And, you know, this is this is what we do every day. And so, you know, we um, you don't have to do that stuff. You don't have to know who to contact at Google or try to get a hold of anybody. And also, you don't have to know all the terms of service. So you can the benefit is that you can just follow these steps, this checklist and really be pretty certain that you're you know, that you're going to be safe and you're not going to be just just suspended, which is really awesome. So. The first one right there is the NAP, uh, name, address, and phone number. That's the acronym that it stands for. Name, address, and phone number on your GMB listing does not match what's found on the website, Secretary of State, or BBB, or other directory listings. So you want all those to match. You got to go to the Secretary of State, go to BBB. You want all them to match up. What What can you tell me about this? Is there any any stories or examples? Sure. Yeah, definitely. What what we suggest is that you do um, a Google search on your own, type in your address and see what business name shows up, see what address, how the address is typed out on multiple different um, directories, see what phone number is listed there as well. What you might discover is, hey, I never filled out this information to be on this directory. Why am I on it? Why is my stuff incorrect? And it's just because those directories have those API connections that um, create a listing on, on itself. So go through, make sure your website address matches what you have on your secretary of state. And then also then just start going down the list, make sure your Google, my business matches secretary of state, BBB or matches secretary of state and so on and so forth. So really the secretary of state is kind of that, 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 that hub on this for the spokes, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So everything kind of emanates out of the secretary of state. And then you want to look at the website and see if it matches what's on the secretary of state site. Now we do have an example of a garage door company that by the way, was off by one digit and they were taken down for 60 days. It, it, it led to almost $600,000 in, in, uh, in revenue lost for them over that 60 day period. Um, because they didn't have any, anybody helping them with this, pro with this process. So that's one of the reasons why we have the assurance program. Uh, or service that we offer that allows people to, we back up their entire Google My Business listing. So if there's a catastrophic loss of their Google My Business page, we can get them back up and running. But typically what we do is we, you know, we, we contact Google for them and, and, we, um, and we get them reinstated 
um, very, very, typically very rapid. We've got a 96% success rate. Um, and the only reason why we went on 100 is because we're just working on one right now, a personal injury attorney that had 11 locations just suspended. So um, huge revenue loss. So this is why you really want to follow these. By the way, it's, I think it's actually, it's nine um, uh, points here, the checklist that we've got um, so that you can avoid being suspended. And then um, let's go to the second one there. You have multiple GMB listings for the same business or loca location. Yes. So if you notice that you've got a duplicate, duplicate Google My Business listing in your location dashboard where it's got the same exact information, one says verified, um, <clears throat> one might say duplicate, uh, they both might say verified. What happens is you're uh, putting your business at risk for suspension. Got it. Good. Yeah. So you've got, you, you just got, you've got a duplicate listing and you've got to, you got to handle it. And there's more to it than that. I know that, you know, there's much more detail um, in terms of like merging them and how to merge them and things like that. But we're going to keep this rather superficial here and, and just make sure that you, you know at least that. The other one is multiple businesses claim to operate from your address. Yeah. So let's say that you have a, co you, you use a co-working space as your address or you use one of the PO box addresses as um, one of your addresses or there's... Um, Regis offices, which are yep. virtual offices that you use as the same address. So what happens is that address is used multiple times. It'll show an insurance agent, a personal injury attorney, a locksmith. It'll show multiple businesses that are all claiming to be at the same address. That gets you, um, that, that causes a, a risk for suspension as well. Got it. Multiple businesses in the same address so that's different obviously from the the one the one above it where it's multiple gmb listings for the same address um okay so recent changes to your address categories name website or phone number have appeared on your listing on your gmb listing so do you have any example well, of this or? let's use an example for a local guide for example so yeah. they go in they see your google my business is uh the business name has a keyword in it so they'll go through and they'll change the biz to the actual business name or yep. they'll see that ink doesn't have a period in it. They'll go through and add that and they'll just update it and they'll put the phone number that they call instead of the phone number that's your main phone number. So you've got multiple changes that are made, but you didn't approve or deny it them when Google sent, hey, is this true? When Google yep. sent this, this request over. So that gives your listing the potential to get suspended because now you've got multiple changes made all at once. Wow. So this, this kind of stuff can happen unbeknownst to you and without you doing anything, um, you can be, you can be suspended. And so you just got to be aware of changes that are made, not even by you that are just made by other people and just be aware of what's going on with your GMB page will be taken down, which is interesting. Okay. You have multiple listings with different business names for the same business and or location. What's an example of that? Okay. So let's say, let's use an example. So you've got one listing that is completely keyword stuffed in the a business name, best yeah. personal injury attorney, um, Miami, Florida. Yeah. <clears throat> then you've got another listing that has your actual business name, but they both go to the same address. Google's yes. going to recognize that, okay, why are these two at the same address? Something's wrong here and suspend both. Got it. Yep. One Multiple, yeah. Yep. One, mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so multiple listings with different business names for the same business. Okay, got it. Um, so that's this is now you. Uh, the next one is you've used keyword stuffing or to artificially improve your your search engine rankings. I mean, this we see this all the time. There's egregious, you know, situations that we've seen. We just had a property management company, you know, that that did this. One of our competitors um, uh, for one of our clients. They mm -hmm. have been keyword stuffing. They put the main keyword for property management right in the listing. That, that we, and by the way, we identify two different types of spam um, for Google My Business listings. One is location, one is title um, spam. And the title spam is, is otherwise known as, um, you know, keyword or keyword spam really is, is, what we, is what we like to refer to as, as well. But this type, of, this type of Google My Business listing that has been stuffed with keywords is a target for companies like ours to, to have them taken down. Why? 
because what they're doing is, is they're, they're creating an artificial advantage for their company to rank higher in the search results because when you put in the keywords with the city, yeah, you're going to rank higher, but ultimately you're going to be putting your Google My Business listing at risk because if a savvy local SEO company like ours comes along and we see that, then we're going to report it and potentially have that listing, that Google My Business listing removed, which is what we're talking about in the first place here. So, um, you know, we're, we're on the delivering end of a lot of these suspensions because, you know, really, you know, these competitors are, are in essence, really they're stealing, you know, because, you know, they're, they're going against the terms of service. And um, so we will fight for our clients, you know, vehemently to get this, to get this uh, wrong information changed so that everybody gets good results. I mean, we just, we just want, we just want the correct information to be, to be shared in the search results. So um, anything you want to add to that? Nope. That, that's pretty, that's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. You've listed as a service, even you're listed as a service area business, but neglected to disable your physical address. Yes. Home service businesses are already considered high risk. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So if you have your, your physical address listed on the Google, my business page, that is in violation of Google's guidelines. You have to hide your physical address and utilize the service area to put in the the zip codes, the neighborhoods that you want, that you service. Got it. And that really helps them as well because they'll probably be more likely to rank in those other areas than if they were not listed or did not identify their service area that they work in. So it's, it's to your benefit to do this, guys, really. And it also can prevent you from being suspended, you know, which is you get a double benefit. So your business is not brick and mortar, i.e. it's an out, uh, online store, virtual office, uh, PO boxes are not acceptable. Yep. What do you want to just that's 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 it. You'll get suspended if you're one of those. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. you're if yeah, it's if if it's a virtual service or online store, yeah, no GMB for you. Mm -hmm. Well you yep. uh your listed uh website is a now having said that though, what about like coaches and stuff like that, Crystal? Well, that's why you're dis you're you're a service-based, so that's why you're listed underneath a service-based business because within the categories, life coach is listed as a category. And then when you read the Google's guidelines, it also describes that that is okay to put your life coaching business um, online utilizing a Google My Business page. Okay, so definitely refer back to the guidelines. This is, you know, you, you can go pretty, you know, there are some, some opportunities for people, even though you're, um, you know, you're not, a, you're not an online store or virtual service. Some people might ask, you know, well, what about my business? You know, I don't have a physical brick and mortar. What about me? You know, so th these are, you know, yes, you can have a GMB page if, even if you're not brick and mortar. So I don't want you to think that as well, that you right. can't have one if you're not brick and mortar. So your listed website is a forwarding URL. We're on number nine. What's, what's the last one here? What, any yeah. So if you've got a, a listed website that is, let's say keyword filled, um, for yeah. your URL that's posted in. But when you click on that website button in your Google My Business page, and it goes to a website, but it forwards to a different site that has a different name, maybe it has the business name listed as mm. the URL, that is going to be caused, that, that gives you potential for getting suspended from Google as well. Got it. So you, the listed website, when you list that, a website, as, a, as the link in your, on your Google Business page, that's where you've got to send people. You don't want to, you know, yeah. send people to that, to that page or that URL and then forward and then, and then basically skip them from there and go right to somewhere else. Got it. Correct. Yes. Cool. Yep. Um, this is a very complete list, Crystal. Thank you for putting this together, you know, for everybody. Um, this is awesome. If you guys follow this list, you will, you'll be protected, you know, from, 80 to 90 percent of what can potentially happen out there as far as you know potential suspension so at least follow this list if you have any interest in learning more about you know how to keep your business from being suspended then let us know put a you know put a comment down below and also if you if you want to just be protected through our assurance program we like i said we can back up your your, your Google My Business page. I mean, that's, you know, all your reviews, all your posts, everything's backed up. So if you have a catastrophic loss of your content, 
we, we recreate your Google My Business page up and running, get it, you know, we, we repost the content, et cetera. Um, and then we, we also do an audit at the beginning to make sure that, you know, we get a, a, a couple set of eyeballs on your GMB page to get everything, you know, just to make sure that everything checks all the boxes. Because there's, there's a few other little details that we've seen in the past and intricacies that, that do arise at times. So um, that's something to, to pay attention to and to be aware of. And, and the great thing is, is again, you know, we've got, um, we, have, we have the ability to be able to know, to navigate through, to get, to get things, you know, to get this stuff done, you know, because a lot of times business owners just don't know where to go and what to do and how to get stuff done. And so, um, and they don't know the terms of service. So this is going to be a really big asset for a lot of people. So awesome. Awesome. And, and, uh, anything else you want to add crystal? Yep. Just, just let us know if you have any questions, we're more than willing to answer those. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks guys.